Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly singles love reading for Aquarius. How are you guys? Thanks for dropping in. Gonna get right to your reading. I'm going to ask who's coming your way, who's interested in you, Aquarius. Who's coming your way, who's interested in you? Single Aquarius, who's coming your way, who's interested in you, Aquarius. Here we go. Ooh. Cancer Pisces, romantic energy. Somebody attractive may not be meant to be known at this point, but I feel as though we have someone very attractive. <laughs> Someone's romanticizing here. Oh yeah, that's what I feel like's happening, but we'll see, we'll clarify that. Aquarius, there we go. Oh, yeah, you got someone new. Someone wants to court you and date you. Be a little bit shy. You might even have a couple of people. You have someone here who's a little afraid here. You won't find them attractive or physically appealing. Okay. But someone definitely sees you that way. And they see you as that Queen of Cups right in the heart of the reading here. You want love. You want reciprocity. It looks like you're kind of surrounded here. <laughs> uh-huh. I see an offer, seed being planted. It's a communication or an offer to start something. Yeah, it's about investing. You may not be 100% sure, okay? You may not be. So, yeah, yeah there's a, this apprehension could be yourself. You may be feeling a little bit shy as well, okay? It's possible that's yourself, yeah, a little cancer energy. So someone here who's coming in. It's an energy of something taking off. It's about investing emotionally, staying in control, not trying to control anything. So it's about being patient. Ooh. So it's someone waiting for the right opportunity to offer you this. Maybe the timing won't be right. It's hard to say, but I see you pulled in a couple of directions. <laughs> we have the moon. Why is the moon here? Yeah, someone moving very slow. Slow moving energy, someone planning for success, could be a secret admirer, someone is admiring you, finds you attractive, sun is shining, they will express themselves eventually, I feel, so I do feel there's movement, yeah, some a little Aquarius energy, they find you very attractive, so very nice. This person sees you as a star, I see the way they conduct themselves. Yeah, they see you as a star. They like the way you conduct yourself, the way you handle yourself. Yeah, they want to be on that same page with you. <laughs> uh huh. It's the two cards of faith. This person, you know, I'm going to tell you, I almost feel as though you've got two. Yeah, definitely. But it could be yourself feeling a little apprehensive, feeling a little afraid here if someone's moving slow, that they're not right, not on the same page. It could be yourself. Little stories you're telling yourself in your head. Yeah, there's that Knight of Cups. Courting and dating. Oops, this one wants to come out. Yeah, I see messages coming in very quickly, actually, out of the blue, very fast, fiery. Things are about to speed up. Text messages. It's talking, emails, communication. Very fast-moving, fiery energy. Oh, yeah. So someone fantasizing here. They're looking at all the possibilities. Now, you may have a couple options, I feel. you got a couple of options. You may release someone. I feel there's an energy of someone letting go of old relationship baggage. It's been a bit of a slow process. Uh, but I do feel it's an energy of faith. You're getting something you hope and dream for here. But I see this person looking at you. Oh, yeah. You've got an offer. So you being very discerning. Yeah, you're questioning this. You're being very discerning. So I feel like you're going to have to make some kind of a decision about starting something. You're going to make yourself very clear about how you conduct yourself. <laughs> yeah. You're going to make yourself clear. But I feel it's this person. They admire you. There's some kind of ad admiration this person has for the way you conduct yourself. They're seeing things very clearly. Okay. So, yeah. You've got someone new here. Oh, yeah. You're being very strong and brave. You're speaking up. There isn't going to be any thing overly passive okay speaking your truth but i do feel very kind and compassionate so it's an energy of options you may have other options you may speak the truth so it may take a little bit of bravery to do so but it's an energy of strength okay it's an energy of taming the beast a little bit here you're going to teach this person how you want to be treated right off the get-go <laughs> nice aquarius you've got this covered 
Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. What's this offer all about? Get these cards lined up. What's this offer all about? There we go. Yeah, emotional fulfillment. Something that's going to make you pretty happy here, to be honest. This is someone who wants to have a future. They're going to put all their cups on the table. Okay, very nice. A lot of happiness here. This is something very emotionally fulfilling. It could be some sort of event or a party, a celebration, a family event. Now, I feel like you are going to go for it, but I feel like you're just kind of going to be a little patient here and wait. Okay, just kind of see how things go. Yeah, so you're being very patient. You're waiting for something here. Lovely, yeah. So if you, uh, you aren't going to wait forever, you will put something behind. Okay, you're moving towards success. So if you have a person you've been waiting for and they don't hurry up and they move too slow, you will release them. You'll move towards someone else because you're going to feel like they're not on the same page or you don't have a lot of faith in them. But it's how you're conducting yourself as well. Tell me about this chariot. There we go. Oh, yeah. You've got a person. You've got someone here feeling loved up. You have a new person coming in to express themselves. They're coming in quick. It's going to take off very fast. This person is in control of their emotions, okay? They're, they're not running amok with their feelings. I can see that energy, but they will express themselves, their feelings, their emotions, what they want, what makes them happy. Someone who wants to make you happy, too. It's a very high vibrational energy, someone new. Yeah, this could be something you're waiting for here. So you may have to wait a little bit. Some of you do definitely have, possibly have a person. You may have options, okay? You're kind of looking at the possibilities. You have to make a decision. You may have to make a spontaneous decision with an offer, too. You're going to question it. You want to make things very clear. You want clarity, clear communication. So I do see you being very strong and brave, definitely. Oh, yeah. Very nice energy. It has to do with an event, some kind of an event here. You have some friends maybe supporting you, the strength of your friends behind you. But it's an event. It's very good news, very positive. So I do feel like you're extending positive energy, okay? Uh, you're, it's, you're, it's an energy of looking on the bright side. So very nice. Wow, you got the sun twice. Looks like two new people, okay? Uh-huh. Yeah, someone here you're not interested in, though. They may travel in your social circle. You may not feel confident they're right. That's where I feel that page of cups. See, if someone is a little bit too shy, you want someone stronger and more confident. Okay, I don't think you're going to say that because I feel like you're going to be kind and compassionate with that Queen of Cups energy. But you still have this other person coming in. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. Yeah, this is where you speak up, speak your truth, what makes you happy, what doesn't. Now's the time to decide because what you've been waiting for is coming towards you. Yeah, some of you are single. You're looking out for yourself. So you're a little bit not sure about investing in this. I feel there's that, you know, that energy. You are loving yourself first. I see it. But you're looking back at all this hard work. So it's an energy where you've just about given up. When you've just about given up, here comes this person. <laughs> yeah, it's this person here. Yeah, they want to date in court. They're coming in out of the blue here very quick. It looks like they're been they're letting go of some relationship baggage so they can start new. Okay, and someone is releasing, willingly letting go. It's taken this person a little time, but they want this to be successful. So they're coming in very clear. Okay, so it's an energy of faith. This is how they're going to conduct themselves. Higher vibrational energy. Happy, positive, lovely. Yeah, so they want to have success, you see. So someone thinking about commitment, you know. They want to make sure you're on the same page. They will make themselves clear as well. Yeah, they want to have success. They're going to put the work in. They want to build something. But I do feel they're letting go of a relationship that wasn't successful. So there is questions here, but I do see this person, this truth, okay. There's a little bit of an aha moment here as well for you. Yeah. See a single person here, somebody who's, you're not, I don't think you're so sure if you want to start something or not. Some of you kind of looking, you know, you want love, but you want reciprocity. Uh, you're just about to give up. You're looking back at all this hard work. Some of you have been working very hard. You're completing something, enjoying the fruits of your labors. Might be getting ready for a vacation or just, you know, leaving some work behind here and getting ready um, to get out, mix and mingle, meet new people. I do see an event. I see a connection being made. Oh yeah, it could be a house party, a celebration, getting to know friends and family. So it's a beautiful, beautiful energy here. Oh yeah, so tempering those passions. You're tempering your passions, tempering your words. Nice. This is someone different than your usual type. You have someone who's a little different. There's something off. You're not really feeling it with one person. So I don't think it's going to be very easy for you to 
tell this person what you want. You may tell them you have other options. You're just dating or you don't want to date. <laughs> Could be a little white lie. But yeah, it's because you're trying to be compassionate and kind. You don't want to hurt someone here. I can see that. Uh, so you got someone here who's right, someone who may not be. So you're just sort of tempering your passions. Yeah, you're making a choice here. You definitely have someone who's very attractive, very physically attractive. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's that passion. This is the one. You got someone here who's the one. You are making a decision, though. You're looking out for yourself first and foremost. <laughs> you want the one. Uh, you want to make sure anyone who comes in, you're going to question, make sure that they are completely single. Okay. You're just going to lay it all out there. You're just going to put it out there. <laughs> That's your style, Aquarius. You betcha. Just put it out there. Talking about this nine of wands. Yeah, so it's an energy of releasing, making a decision to let go. Okay, but this is a decision for yourself to let go, to start something new. So it could be yourself uh, getting tired of waiting for somebody here, you know, waiting patiently. Uh, but I, you know, it's also an energy where you're just about to give up on your love life and then there it is. It's that rebirth. Okay, it could be a reconciliation for some, uh, but it's a decision to let go, to just release, you know, just kind of put some, putting it out there, okay? Yeah, getting it off your chest kind of energy. That's what I feel it's telling me here. <laughs> yeah, you're single, you're happy, but I feel as though you have this offer. I don't know if you're going to go for it or not. I definitely feel, you know, it's something you've been waiting for, so it's telling you to make a decision. Yeah, Empress Energy, birth of something new. You. You're in an energy where you have everything you need. You're very comfortable, enjoying the fruits of your labors. You know, I see a lot of beautiful, creative, kind, and compassionate energy here. Wow. Whatever you're waiting for is coming towards you. This new, okay? It's right here. Somebody loving, caring, and nurturing. You might have someone who's waiting for you as well. But I don't think so. I don't really feel that strong. It's possible. So I do see an outcome, yeah. There's some romantic feelings. I say you got someone with romantic feelings here. Absolutely. They see you as a star. They find you very, very attractive, very passionate, beautiful energy. This is someone who's kind of taken their time. Oh, yeah, soulmate connection. See, this is a soulmate connection. Well, this, is a, this is your soulmate. This could be the one, this person. What you're waiting for is coming. Yeah, watch out for red flags. That has to do with this person here. Someone who tells you stories, okay? This is a person who's not, you don't feel right. You know it. Something's going to feel off. So I wouldn't worry too much. You're going to get it because it does look like you have options and you're going to make a decision. You may procrastinate for a wee bit before you decide. I see that energy of being patient, wondering if you should invest, you know. Yeah, but I don't, I don't honestly think you've given up on love. I feel there's times that you feel like it just giving up and letting it go. But here it is, what you've been waiting for. Just pay attention to the red flags here your friends may caution you warn you yeah there could be some friends who tell you watch out for this person you may have someone who's actually in a relationship coming towards you so watch that someone who tells stories okay they always tell always they tell you the story they want you to feel sorry for them so watch that energy yeah yeah so someone here could be someone who has children okay or they're just kind of immature kind of childlike sort of energy they may not be very mature whatever the situation you're going to know i can see you questioning it being quite discerning yeah you're not feeling it unrequited love you don't feel the same about this person maybe as they feel about you but i feel they're just kind of telling stories just watch the stories you tell yourself in your own head and i feel that that will help you sort it out okay but i see that tempering your emotions your passions yeah, so it is, does look like an unrequited love kind of situation, a reconciliation. So there is someone here. So I feel as though, yeah, you've got this energy. You're you're kind of good where you're at. You're happy. You're, you're, you're single. But I do feel like just when you least expect it, here comes this other person. Yeah, you're just about to put this person behind you. You're done, okay? Yeah, this is someone from your past here. Now, it could be an energy where you just kind of reflect on your past as well. And so it could be a reconciliation of judgments and a decision within yourself, okay? Yeah, so just watch that food for thought. But it does look like you have a person here. Somebody who likely has other options, you know. 
Yeah, and you're nobody's option. You're going to be asking and questioning. That I, I got a feeling you may have a person. There may be some gossip or talk. This person, you know, where you, you feel something is off or someone's telling you something. They may actually be in a relationship. So just watch that person, okay? It's the shy person, the one that tells the story, the page of cups, okay? And so someone who kind of play on your sympathies a little bit. It's not going to last. It's not going to go anywhere because you have this other offer. You have another offer here, yeah. So I see a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, talking with your friends, family. I see you connecting with someone here, meeting somebody. Your friends may actually help you connect with someone. <laughs> I see, honestly... Um, discussing your feelings this is where you want someone you know to you're teaching someone how you want to be treated what you like what you don't like okay you'd rather be single i feel than uh, pick the wrong person most definitely wow yeah beautiful energy you know your worth and your value i can see it right here yeah you're looking out for number one but you yeah you you do have this person this could be the one that what you're waiting for you have a person here it's going to happen quite sudden. Where you, Once you let go of this other person, you release this. It could be an it's an ex, someone maybe that you've been having trouble releasing, old relationship, baggage, whatever. Make sure you have before you start something new. Okay? Yeah. Could You may want a reconciliation. It's possible. It could be another person down here you're reconciling with. But it really looks like this person. Something's off. Something's not right. You're not feeling it. You probably don't feel the same if it's someone who's... You know, taking a long time to come around. Somebody may be very secretive. But you have this lovely energy. Huh? you got someone who's going to come in and express themselves. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. I actually feel like they overlap. I feel like this person here is coming in. Someone who is also releasing something. They see you as a star. They like you, okay? I can see that energy. This person adores you. But I do feel it's an energy where they are learning to love themselves first. They need to release their own relationship baggage. There's that truth and success. It's going to take two people to build here. Yeah, I, I don't think you see, I think you see the truth of this page of cups. I, I, I feel this person, I don't know if they have children or they're childlike or they're too young or, you know, they're just not ready, whatever the situation. It's like they're going to play on your sympathies and tell you a story, okay? Likely married, oh, my wife doesn't give me a lot of attention, you know, that, that story, right? They all have a story. <laughs> so a little caution there. But yeah, you're moving towards something better, but it's your choice, it's your decision about releasing who you're going to release and let go of. But I do see this high vibrational energy. I see a lot of romance here, a romantic gesture. Your feelings are real. And that's the thing, is this is about exploring your feelings and emotions with this person, this new person. Really nice. Let's grab some. Oh, yeah. There's that star energy. That's a release. You're going to willingly let go of this person. It's not going to bother you. I don't see a whole lot of need to heal. It might throw you off balance for a wee bit, but I feel like it's all good because there's that clarity. You're making yourself clear. You're seeing the truth there. There's that transformation. You probably don't feel the same. You may. It's possible for some of you. I could see it's possible for a few of you. Um, this person could be coming in to apologize for something. It's all up to you whether you want to take it or leave it with judgment. All right. There's that good omen. Yeah, beautiful. So there's that heart. So you have some good luck when it comes to love right now. Luck is in your favor. That's that dragonfly. That's my favorite. Yeah, I see air. So there's some air energy here. Things moving fairly quickly. I see music. Could be some kind of air travel, a trip. But it usually means communication, okay, emails. This is the person here. This is one of your options, okay. This is where you have to make a choice. So this person coming in very quickly, very fast. It's like they're moving slow. They're going through a healing. They're letting go of something. They're ready for truth. They're ready for success. They want to build. So courting and dating, talking, communication. Mm-hmm. If you have two people coming in, courting and dating you, options are definitely one of them is telling you a story. So just, you'll know who it is. It'll feel off. Just trust how it makes you feel, okay? Yeah. So let's grab a couple more charms. 
Let's express your love. I love that. I haven't seen that all week. Yeah, there's that transformation. There's a kiss. And there's the good luck. So you got a good omen here. Some good luck. This is going to change everything. See, this is that energy of transformation, releasing, healing, and moving towards someone else. So some of you have gone through that energy. You have this opportunity to start something new. You're looking out for you, boy. Join the fruits of your labors. Very happy, emotionally fulfilled in a lot of ways. But, you know, this has to do with your future. So you're looking at your feelings. What makes you happy with that Queen of Cups? Very nice. Your decision. You're going to make the right choice. I can see it already. You're going to do what's right for you. Whatever makes you feel safe and secure, comfortable. Or you can express yourself and not be judged, okay? That's that, that's that energy as well with judgment. But it's rebirth. And that's that beautiful energy of this butterfly, this good, good omen. Uh, I see expressing your love. I see a kiss. <laughs> Could be all about the kiss, right, Aquarius? Yeah, there's that. There it is. There's that crystal energy. I didn't even know there was two in there. Look at that. Yeah, making yourself very clear. There's something... Yeah, really lovely here. Yeah, and there's the key. The key to success is clarity. Speaking your truth, speaking clear, expecting the same in return. You're not getting it from some page here for a lot of you. But if you only have one person, it's definitely uh, quite possible you have someone who's shy asking you if you're seeing anyone else, if you're single, okay? Could be someone who's in that energy. But I do see the reconciliation. So just keep it in mind, all right? Let's grab some letters and we'll wrap this up, Aquarius. Okay, I see an I, a B, a K, an A, a Q. Ooh, something about the timing. We got the Seven of Pentacles right on time. Just about when you're ready to give up, in comes a new person. So when you're ready to go forget it, I give up, I'm done, I'm just going to stay single, in comes the new person. <laughs> Yes, nice. R, L, and S. First and last initials, maybe where you'll meet. There is an event, a house party, a celebration. You may actually run into somebody, okay? Possibly an ex who tries to reconcile. I do think you got, there's people involved here, okay? Giving you the strength and confidence to release this person. They're going to tell you something's off, something's not right. I think you're going to know. It's going to feel off, okay? There's, I don't think you, it's, there's no chemistry there for this person. It's unrequited love kind of energy. You're not interested. Yeah, so it's telling you to be kind. And I also see a T and an R. First and last initials, names, where you'll meet. Give it a chance to play out, okay? It doesn't happen instantly. Some of it may have happened. It all depends on what path you're on in this reading. Take care, and we'll see you next week.